Well, welcome back to Dragonfly Engineering. So in this episode, we are going to machine this part all in one setup on the Haas 5-axis UMC 750. And we're going to go over briefly the programming of this in Mastercam, and then most of the operation for this video is gonna be out at the mill, showing the process of machining this part from start to finish. And all that really will remain is the break-off tab that just gets sanded off and finished with a deburring wheel. So let's do it. All right, so here we are in Mastercam 2024 and I've loaded the part into our fixture so you can see the orientation. And you can see all the tool paths that have been generated to the left. If you wanna see more details about generating tool paths in Mastercam, you can check out the episode I did last time where I showed the programming. Anyway, so uh, to go through the operations, there's the facing operation and then there is a profile that we showed, and this is a couple of pocketing operations with an eighth inch end mill. And you can change the view in Mastercam to see the, the tool paths a little better. And then our next operation that we're gonna show is a milling operation followed by a tap in that middle hole, an M6 tap. And then some finishing operations using a ball end mill, which goes around and cuts like a radius on the on the, on the sides of the uh, profiles there, you can see there's like a, I think it's a one millimeter radius. And then at the bottom, we clean up the, the bottom surface and then cut the part off using a quarter inch end mill, basically just slicing off little bits until that whole part's hanging on by a sliver. Again, that's all the tool paths there. And then with Mastercam, you can also run the program in a simulation to show how the tools are gonna cut. So here we're, doing the facing operation and you can rotate it around and see that you're not going to crash into your fixture with your tool holder or that the the flute length on your tool is long enough where you don't run out of cut and that's what that yellow section on the tool is now there it showed like a where the tool flipped to the other side of the part and it won't actually plow through the part like you showed there the tool path generator for the Haas mill will figure out how to do a safe operation for changing sides of cut on the part. And we'll see that in the machining operation here in a second. And then this is an eighth inch end mill and I didn't fuss too much with getting the correct diameter because this is a low run part. So I just stuck with the eighth inch end mill for all these internal features like that arcing pocket and the little circle pockets on the back and the front. And I even did a circle pocket for that tapping operation that we just saw. And then here's the ball end mill that actually does the finishing. And you can zoom in pretty close to see how the ball is actually profiling the radius. And it's pretty cool uh, to see that in action. Again, making sure you don't crash into your fixture. And then after all of that, we can uh, finish the profiling, see the back end. And then, you know, again, to see exactly how the tools will not crash. And after we like the first simulation, then we can do a mass removal simulation, which we're gonna switch to here in a second. Here I'm showing the final cut off of the part at the end of the run, just leaving a tiny sliver. All right, now we'll switch to the mass removal simulation where we actually show how material is cut away. And this is good for seeing if you've got like gouges and things, and we'll just kind of zip through that. If you see a bunch of red areas, that probably means your tool like is plowing through metal too fast. But it's kind of neat because you can kind of see a simulation of what the actual true metal is going to look like when you machine these parts. So here you can see the overlay of the stock and yellow is the actual part itself. And we can actually color each operation separately, but here I think yellow is just showing the cut. Here we're showing the ball end mill rounding off of the part here. And on the back, we can see some more of that as well. And interesting, you can see how there's like a sliver of metal left, which actually existed in the machining operation. And then on the back, when we do the ball finishing or the rounding, I think I'll show how we actually slice off that little chunk of foil. But here you can see how we're just uh, finishing out the cut. That's a good example of the rounding off of this back pocket. Uh, maybe I skipped the foil being cut off, but we'll see that in the milling, milling operation now. 
All right, so I'm over at the UMC and I already had the stock loaded in the in the stock holder, the homemade stock holder down there. That's that thing. And I set this up so that the uh, stable or the tripod camera could kind of watch the machining operation because everything's done from the side on this part. But uh, so first we need to rehome the mill. So over here on the controller, I'm going to say zero all. And then we'll see how the uh, everything goes back to the home position for this five axis mill. And really, I just did this so I could figure out the camera's zoom and, and uh, framing of the static camera. So we'll spin around. It goes a little slow doing this because it's kind of a calibrating safety move. So basically the memory, the program is loaded in the memory here. I'll hit the memory button. I've got the feeds and the speeds or the, the feed rate of the tool and the RPM of the tool basically half because I'm going to do this without running coolant. So I'll probably just double the speed of the video so you can get the same effect. And then we'll hit cycle start down here and we'll see how the machine will orient itself and start machining. Again, coolant is off. So now we're facing the back side of the part and this is bringing our part to dimension. And we're doing a rough pass and a finish pass. Now we're profiling the part and you just heard the tool changer advancing the next tool. This is an eighth inch end mill. This may be a little tricky to cut without coolant. We'll just go a little slower, I think.
Here we're doing a corner rounding for the finishing of the edges of the part. Using a 1 8 inch or 3.2 millimeter ball end mill. And we're following a little, I think it's a, a 1 millimeter radius profile, a 3D profile. Now we're going to cut the part out. After we profile that little boss on the end. And do a relief cut on the back. And 
burn all the WD-40 off. Again, normally I'd be spraying coolant on this, but it would mess up the window for the video. So we're doing a rough pass and then a finish pass per step so that we can maintain the quality of that bottom edge. Until the very last sliver of cut. That is it. We are done with this part. And of course the ceremonial breaking off of the part. Let me blow it off first. this bottom break off edge with a, with a belt sander and a deburr wheel and this was cut without coolant so the there may be some chip recutting marks on the side there but not too bad all in all and then back there's a hole all right well thanks for watching dragonfly engineering see you next time